Hello, people. Welcome back. As promised, today I'm gonna give you ten more LUTs, and these are cinematic LUTs, and you can download them for free. I'll put the link to download these LUTs in the description of this video, and you can just download it and unzip the pack. Once you've already unzipped the pack, you can see that all these LUTs are here. And how do you actually use them? It's very simple. First, go to your Final Cut Pro and then go to the effects tab and after that find a custom LUT and just drag this over to any of your clip or your adjustment layer for simplicity I'm not gonna use adjustment layer for this tutorial so you just bear with me and just check out all these LUTs over here so back to the topic on how to install them first find custom LUT in your inspector and go to LUT and bring down this panel and find choose custom LUT and click on this. Once you've already come to this window, you just choose this folder over here and you can choose the input color space, say Rec 2020 and just click open. And since I've already, you know, installed, so I'm not going to install it again, but yep, that's how you're going to do it. And how to use them? It's also very simple. Just bring down this and find the LC cinematic LUT. If you can't find this thing, just restart your Final Cut Pro and I'm sure it's going to appear over here. If it does not show up here, just drop me a comment and I'll just, you know, help you and figure out together on how to actually, you know, solve this problem. So let's try. Say this is a soldier, you know, sitting in the jungle and without any changes in the, you know, color grading settings. This is the original picture. So for us to have a more cinematic effect, you can always say use bright and sunny. So this kind of, you know, this brings out more yellow, orange, and you know, this, you know, changes the environment and the tone of the whole clip. And obviously you can change the mix. So for it to be zero, it's totally original. For it's the middle, it's a little bit slightly more orange. And for it to be fully, you know, up to one, it's going to be more golden, orange, kind of bright and sunny effect. Also, for us to copy the settings over here, for example, we've already changed the mix and uh, do some of the color adjustments, like saturation, and everything. Uh, all, what you need to do is just go to select this clip and press Command and C, and just press Command Shift and V, so all the effects will be copied over. And just click paste and yep it saves you a lot of time if you're not using adjustment layer yep that's the way to go and since i'm already on this maybe i can change another lot let's deselect the color board and choose say night so this is like you know at night or else you can always choose other LUTs that is closer to the actual lighting environment. For example, I can choose Dawn. This is closer to the lighting environment actually. And bring down the uh, mix. Yep, as you see that the actual original image is about like this. And I just bring up mix. So this is really looking like it's, you know, it's at the break of dawn. and. Uh, they are waiting for the mission to carry out or something like that and for those horror movie lovers you can always you know uh, drag a few custom LUTs so there are two layers first layer which is the bottom you can always first you know choose say dawn and bring down the mix a little and select the second layer and choose red moon so this is like bloody night yep and bring down the mix a little bit and maybe boost this thing so this is like those horror movie kind of thing it's very dark and you know just like bloody environment if not you can just use one layer it's even more red and yep it's more creative and you can bring down the mix so it doesn't really look that red unless you really want this screen really really red and bloody and next up i'm gonna show you other LUTs i think it's quite suitable for sceneries for example you can use blue flat so this is like hollywood movies 
and a small blue or else you can always change to bright and sunny as always everything just seems happier <laughs> or else you can always go to color pop it's quite suitable for movies and matte this one is actually closer to those photos or commercials yeah i think this also is a very cinematic kind of uh, effect for lots and for people the color pop option i can always just use this yep so it's like kind of like a bluish sunny day if not change to bright and sunny it's too yellow for you too orangey to you you can always change to flat so it's toned down the kind of a, a orange bright and sunny afternoon and for flashbacks as you can see there's a flashback yep it's kind of too much so what I'm gonna do is go to the middle of the clip and zoom in a little create a keyframe and then drop it a few seconds later and bring it up and drop it down stuff like that and if you want it to be at a closer interval you can just right click and show video animation and adjust accordingly before anything else remember to create a keyframe at the start and bring down the mix and bring this keyframe over here <laughs> something like that yep that's like a very cinematic flashback kind of effect with a little bit of help from the LUTs last but not least I think this one is actually quite nice for those you know who are taking photos and uh, like it to be a little bit different this very special shade of green I really like this bluish green and I think that's all for today's tutorial and LUT sharing you can also use all these LUTs in DaVinci Resolve and you know PR but I'm not going to show you in this tutorial. Anyways, remember to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you very much and bye bye.